Hi, I'm Mark Wood. I'm a professional freelance cartoonist and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw cartoons and caricatures. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon character. So if you draw an oval, like that, just for the outline of the face. Now, if you want to draw the nose first, then you come, basically just come just inside of the oval and come outwards. The size of the nose doesn't really matter. You can obviously do a bigger one or a smaller one, depending on what sort of character you want to draw, but we're going to do one about like that. Now, the easiest thing now is to draw the eyes. So you do two, again, two oval shapes, one just touching this side of the nose, and another one that's partly obscured by this one. Just thicken them up slightly. And then we do the pupils. So do two dots in there. And while we're there, we do the eyebrows. So just two curvulent lines, just a little way above the eyes, and so he's got his eyebrows raised. Right. From here, we're going to follow down and do the rest of the face. So you follow this um, part of the oval that you've already drawn down, and when you thicken it up, when you get to the bottom, just do a little curvy line there that's going to be the neck, and another one on the other side. And then you come up, following the oval round again, and then we're going to put in an ear, which is just basically like a drawing a C. And another C inside is the inner part of the ear. For the hair, obviously you can do many different hairstyles, but we're going to do just sort of like a scruffy sort of sticking up type hair. So we're just going to just make a few random lines. They don't really need to be exact because nobody's hair is perfect anyway. So we just come out and round just above, literally to probably the end of the eye and just to make a few sort of here and there marks coming down like that towards the back of the ear. Now from here we're going to draw the mouth so if we start roughly sort of here just under the nose and we're going to do a big smiley mouth so we're going to come up getting towards the ear and we put a little mark on the end for the cheekbone and from there you come down you follow it up to the bottom of the mouth and there he is with a nice big sort of cheery grin and smile. And we put the tongue in like that. We just black in the middle of the mouth. That makes the tongue show out more and it looks more sort of cheery and happy and smiling. Just colour it in like that. Now moving on to the body. We're going to do them in a roll neck sweater, so we should do a line upon just at the bottom of the neck, like that. And from basically where the chin is, at the top of the neck, you come out and round and join it in above there on the back, like that. Now for the body, you want to come down and we just do a rough shape, so we're going to do it lightly. We're going to come down like this, we're going to come along the bottom and back up. So it's just a nice, simple shape like that. Um, then we move on to the legs. So you do some jump quite straight lines because obviously the legs aren't going to be straight so you sort of come out and you sort of arc it out a little bit towards the bottom like that and the back one can be slightly straighter. So we come down like that and do a line roughly sort of in the middle just slightly perhaps over. And you come down and then we join the bottom of the trousers up like that. And we've got the basic body and legs. Put a little line in the middle there for a crease in the trousers. The shoes are easy, so we are going to do him with a foot coming out here. Like that. And one like that. So just do a basic shape to begin with, and then we shall fill it in once we've got the shape roughly that we want. And if you just come around a tiny bit underneath, that would be the sole of the shoes. And that's the outline of the shoes done now. Now, we just do a little bit, a line coming across here for the front, and the same on the other foot. And then just a few little curved lines to represent the laces. And you put it a little bit there just to darken that up and we've got the shoes. For the arms, which we haven't missed off, we haven't forgotten them, we do them coming along from the top. We're gonna to do them with his sort of hands on his hips. So we're gonna come out 
and we're going to come back in and we're going to do the same on the other side. It's basically drawing a triangle off of the side of his body on each side. Just two triangles like that. Then as you do a smaller triangle, slightly like that. So you've got the two triangles there. And all we do now is, so they don't look quite so angular, is just round off where his elbows would be and just on the inside, just round those slightly as well. And then all that's left to do for the man is his hands. So you'll only see part of this hand because it's behind his back. So you come up from here and you're just gonna come basically round and that's gonna represent the edge of his hand. But obviously there's gonna be two fingers that you're gonna see, so you could just do a line in the middle and there you go, there's the two fingers. Just stick and jump up a bit there. And on this side, you again, you're only gonna see part of the hand because you sort of got it on his hips. You're gonna come round and back up to the hand like that. Now, we just give him a nice stripe on his jumper so it doesn't look quite as boring. So you just, you just go like that. Just any shape you want, just to make the jumper, just so it doesn't look quite as plain. And in that, we will just do a few triangles to give it a little bit of a pattern. If there's any lines by this that aren't quite as dark as you want, and then you can just go over them again, making them a little bit thicker. And that is how to draw a cartoon character.